Are you a student looking for a laptop that will give you on-the-go performance, a long-lasting battery, and wouldn't break the bank? Look no further because the Microsoft Surface Go laptops will provide all that and more to help you ace all your exams. Oh, we got to get one of those. Is the Surface Go laptop unique? Why don't you join me in this video as I run you through all the detailed specs and features of the Surface Go laptop, which makes it the best laptop for students? Microsoft Surface Go Review The 12.4-inch PixelSense display with 1536 x 1024, 148 ppi. Resolution is quite good. It has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio which is a very wide screen with skinny bezels, which makes it easy to multitask between different apps with less scrolling. The picture quality is decent with accurate color representation thanks to the 99% of the sRGB color gamut, 74% Adobe RGB gamut, and 400 nits brightness configuration on the laptop. The top is made of aluminum, while the base is made of what Microsoft calls polycarbonate composite resin system with glass fiber and 30% post-consumer recycled content. This is a lovely way of saying plastic, but all the same, the build is quality and doesn't feel at all cheap. The hinge is very flexible and doesn't wobble much when touched. It weighs 2.45 pounds, which is very light and easy to carry around. Also in the video, I will be giving a detailed specs comparison between the Surface Go 8 and the Go 4, so stay tuned. You will have ice blue, sandstone, and platinum color options to choose from. Memory-wise, you will get 4GB or 8GB of RAM, which is relatively small with EMMC 64GB of storage. A student can consume that in a day, which will slow down web browsing, especially if you have opened several tabs. But you can upgrade to 128GB or 256GB SSD options, which comes at a cost. Because the laptop is small and compact, it only comes with a few ports. You will get one USB-A port, a USB-C port that supports charging, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a designated Surface Connect port. The keyboard is very tactile, although compact because of the size of the laptop. It has decent key travel and is backlit so you can use it under low lighting conditions. It doesn't make much noise, so there is no disturbance, especially if you're working with others. The trackpad is very responsive and fast. The fingerprint scanner has been integrated into the power button found on the keyboard. It is very fast. In under one second, your laptop is opened and ready to use. Unlike other laptops, you have to wait for long hours before the windows will launch before you can use it. The 10th Gen Intel Core i5 1000 and 35G1 processor gives you decent performance. You can browse the web, stream music, perform light videos and pictures, and do casual gaming. Anything demanding will push it off the limit. And all SKUs of the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go are powered by Intel's 10th generation Core i5 chipsets backed by either 4 or 8 gigs of RAM. My 8 gig model was fine for working in Chrome while streaming media as long as you don't go too crazy with the number of tabs and it's fine for editing pics and other less intensive creative tasks too. You can even get away with some light gaming on the side but I'm talking light here, don't expect the moon on a stick. There's no dedicated GPU or anything like that. Definitely older and less demanding titles are all you will manage. I did try gaming on a bit of kill and flow stuff like that, I did not like that at all. But apart from that, in my week with the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, the only time I noticed any serious slowdown was when I was trying to work while also installing apps in the background. It was not a fan of that. Please subscribe to the channel if you still need to do so to enable you to make the right choice for school, because the best is yet to come. About five to six hours of battery life should take you through a day's work but with less demanding tasks, you will get more than six hours. The 720 PhD webcam gives you good picture quality feedback, and what amazed me most was the Omnisonic speakers with Dolby Audio. The sound was superb, more than I expected. Surface Go 8 versus Surface Go 4. Need help choosing between the Surface Go 8 and the Go 4? Here is everything you need to know. First off, let's begin with the design and display. Let's begin. In terms of design, it's straightforward. You have to decide whether you want a tablet or a laptop. The Surface Go 8 is a tablet. 
while the Go 4 is a complete laptop. But the Go 8 is more versatile because you can use it as a tablet or laptop. For the latter, you will need a keyboard cover and make use of the kickstand. But mind you, the detachable keyboard and trackpad will come at an extra, while you will get all this already included on the Go 4 at one cost. They both come with aluminum chassis, but the weight is different. But will the weight affect the performance? We will see about that very soon. The Surface Go 8 weighs only 1.96 pounds, making it very light and portable, easy to go in any bag and take in anywhere, even with the keyboard cover included. But that doesn't mean that the Go 4 isn't portable. It is just much heavier. It comes at a weight of 2.79 pounds for the Alcantara model and 2.84 pounds for the metal model. For the Surface Go 8, you have graphite and platinum color options, while you have platinum and ice blue with Alcantara material palm rest and matte black and sandstone metal palm rest color options for the Go 4. You will get a color that suits you best regardless of your taste. And we all have our secret preference. The memory and storage sizes for both are the same. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes LPDDR4X RAM, and 128 gigabytes to 1 terabyte SSD options for storage. The Surface Go 8 has a 13 inch Pixel Sense Flow display with a sharper display thanks to the 2880X 1920, 267 ppi resolution. Despite the Go 4 has a larger display of 13.5 inches and 15 inches. The resolution is much lower. The former has a 2256 x 1504, 201 ppi resolution, while the latter comes with a 2496 x 1664 resolution. Another significant difference is that the Surface Go 8 has a higher refresh rate of 120 Hz, meaning that transitions and animations will run smoother, but at the same put a drain on the battery life. More insight on the battery life will be addressed soon so stay glued to your set, while the Go 4 is still working with the 60Hz refresh rate. Aside from this, the Go 8 supports Dolby Vision while the Go 4 doesn't. Processor For performance, both look promising, with the Surface Go 8 offering Quad-Core 11th Gen Intel Core i5-1135G7 or Quad-Core 11th Gen Intel Core i7-1185G7 processors. The above processor and the Intel Iris Xe graphics will give the best performance in terms of web browsing, Excel documents, video streaming, casual gaming, and light video and photo editing. The Surface Go 4 uses the same processor mentioned above, including AMD Ryzen 5 4680U mobile processor with Radeon Graphics Microsoft Surface Edition which works with six cores, so there will be a leap in performance when using the AMD Ryzen. Ports Another major significance can be found in the port selection. The Surface Go 4 houses one USB-C, one USB-A, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and one Surface Connect port, so you have a lot of port connections at your disposal unlike the Surface Go 8 which comes with only two USB-C with USB 4.0 slash Thunderbolt 4, but no USB-A, a 3.5mm headphone jack, one Surface Connect port, and Surface Type Cover port. And you can easily use the Surface Go 8 for gaming thanks to the Thunderbolt 4. As the saying goes, all work, and no play makes Jack a lazy boy, so learning small then gaming small to balance the equation. Battery Life the battery life of the Go 4 is far better than the Go 8, which might be due to the sizes of the devices. Since the Go is bigger, it has more room for the battery compared to the Go 8. Now the latter is offering you 16 hours of battery life. That should be enough to take you through all your classes and assignment, but the Go 4 provides 17 hours of battery life when using the Intel Core processor. But for the AMD Ryzen processor, you will be getting 19 hours of battery life, which is so cool. Pretty cool. Cut. More battery to finish the assignment. Watch movies and stream music. Camera and audio. Last but not least are the camera and audio features. As a student, online lectures will be required. So you need to choose a device that will give you the best camera quality and sound so you can hear everything the lecturer is saying loud and clear. The Surface Go 8 is a good choice in terms of camera. 
It comes with a Windows Hello Face authentication camera, front-facing, a 5.0 megapixels front-facing camera, and a 10.0 megapixels rear-facing autofocus camera with 1080p HD and 4K video. The 4K video is so clear that when the video is about cooking, you can see the richness of the ingredients. The above camera specifications are a total upgrade over the 720p HD f2.0 camera of the Go 4. They both have dual Farfield Studio Mix and speakers supporting Dolby Atmos. Both speaker performance is fantastic. Final Verdict With the comparison made above, you will realize that both devices have similarities and differences. But you know what you look for when going in for a laptop. So will you choose the Surface Go 8 or the Surface Go 4? And what influenced your choice? Leave us a comment in the comment section so we know your favorites. Thank you for the love you always show us by watching our videos. The video was insightful and helped you make the right choice. Our next video on the Surface Go 3 might also spike your interest, so why don't you check it out? Until next time, I am out.